So I downloaded that mod that lets you deconstruct these things so I can finally get rid of them. Get rid of this too. Just go away. It's so annoying. That way I can extend this out a little bit. That'll be good. Alright, we're also doing that research. Hell yeah. We must be close. Oh boy. Oh boy. How much do we have left? None. Uh oh. Okay. What does this need here? Body temperature. What? Oh no. You're kidding me. It's... Uh, man. Let's have a look at this water. It's because it's... The water is warm. Oh, man. I mean, most of it is growing. So... It's not terrible. I don't know. I've been getting some suggestions as well of just letting it grow naturally. Getting, maybe getting some pips to um, plant it in seeds, but I've kind of tore up all the, all the natural turf around here. So I don't think it would be possible to do here at least. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of, I'm kind of torn because I, I like having my own area and I like it to, you know, it looks neat like this. Get rid of this too. I don't know. I'll have to think about it because it also, it uses a lot of water. It uses a lot of dirt. Both of which are things that I don't have infinite supplies of. Water actually, I was thinking about this. I do have... Uh, where did it go? I have this salt water geyser here, but this spits out water at 95 degrees. Oh, they did finish it. Hell yeah. Petroleum engine, liquid fuel tank, solid oxidizer tank. So now I need to find a way to get petroleum. Ooh. I could bring petroleum from here or I could make petroleum here. There's a leaky oil fissure. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this produces that much oil. It's also, it would be a pain to collect because it's hanging over this salt water. But... I mean, it's right here. I wouldn't have to take it too far. I would need to set up everything first, though. I don't know. And this has space exposure. Yeah, I would probably need to close that. This has space exposure, too, I think. Although we have the door there, so it's not so bad. Mmm, that might... That might influence things. I probably need to put everything in its own room. Let's get this research focus set up though. So I have this. Probably I'd want some cargo. Be nice to be able to bring something back. <laughs> something useful. I don't know. I don't know. What should I do here? Leaky oil fissure. Also, it doesn't... It doesn't run all the time, so there will be times where I just run out of oil. So we have a petroleum engine. I guess that just goes in place of that. We have that turned off, so I might... Might give it a go. What do I need to make it? Petroleum engine. Uh, just 200 steel, not bad. Not bad at all, I have... 10 tons almost. I should make that monument too. Uh, the engine must be built first. I hate the way they do that. It's so annoying. So if I do get rid of it, hopefully I can put it back. Um, liquid fuel tank stores the liquid to supply the engines. Okay. Storing additional fuel increases the distance. So I wonder if the petroleum engine itself can store 
a, like a, a stock amount of fuel and then you build a fuel tank and you can get more. And then we got the oxidizer tank which stores oxalite. I assume that's for this thruster or something. Alright, so let's get rid of this. Everything here is breaking except this, which is kind of strange. I need to really have this inside, but it needs to be outside. And this is, uh, it's a pain. It would be good to have a different source of power here. Because these, uh, I mean, the power that they even produce is not that much. 380 at the most. It's not that great compared to a petroleum generator which produces 2000. You know? Maybe I will get that going it'll definitely sort out a lot of headaches I have around here I think the first thing I should do here is try and get rid of some of this water that might involve whoopsie it might involve going down here and just expanding out the place I don't know this is not a great location it really is a terrible place. <laughs> but first they have to make a new door here because they can't get here anymore. Oh, they did the rocket. Okay. So can I put a petroleum engine? I can. Nice. So that doesn't have a way in. So I guess it needs the... It needs the stuff going into it. Okay, so get rid of that too. Everyone's got like balloons and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of nice. And is this getting worse? It is getting worse. Oh, man. So the water needs to be cooled. Hmm. That's no good. This was probably a bad idea, to be honest. Probably a bad idea. Especially getting that water. Um, so it's 28 degrees here. By the time it gets here, it's still 24. So it stays the same temperature. I mean, even if I draw it around and kind of make it cool down, it'll eventually warm up. Cools the liquid pipe through it but outputs heat in the immediate vicinity ah and it uses a lot of power that is a lot of oh my god look at that heat it removes 14 degrees from it damn this is always i don't know every time that i've tried to use this thermo aqua tuner it hasn't really worked that well uh ice e fan Requires operation, that's no good. I'll leave it for now, but I'll need to think of something to do there. I I kind of want to work on this for now. I mean, we've got food. It's not like we don't have any food or anything. Maybe eventually I'll just abandon it and I'll make more over here or here or something. There's plenty of ice to go around or here. Alright, so... Wait, what is this? No liquid intake, okay. So, the fuel goes in there, and then that goes to the petroleum engine, I guess. Okay. Well, that'll be interesting. <laughs> um, how did we go with this research? We did 57 of that, okay. I don't know why we get like 179 or something out of 180 research. It's kind of strange. But anyway, Hydrogen engine. That is cool. Burns. Oh, liquid hydrogen. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It was cool. Because like hydrogen. Oh, that's so easy to make. Liquid hydrogen. Not so much. So the trick with this though. Is. I, I need to make petroleum to power all the refinery stuff. But I need to keep that petroleum to put in here. How much can this even hold? 
Only 900. Okay. But I guess that fuel can make it go a lot further. Oh, he did it. He put it in the one spot it can't reach. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. They've been digging out this area a little bit. I've added a couple of floors here. This is where I'll be doing my processing, I guess. I'm just trying to build a little thing so I can keep that contained. So in this room, I'm going to put a... Where is it? I need another oil refinery. Uh, do I need a bigger room for this? I probably need a bigger room. Bugger. And should I put that door at the bottom? How did it work down here? I'm not even sure. Uh, the bottom seems to have less than the top. So also it's, we're down to 7.1. That's kind of interesting. I might want to make more of these because it will run out eventually. And this is quite low, but that's okay. I can activate that again once it gets lower. So that will be the refinery and I'll have to put some gas stuff in here. Uh, so gas pump. And a filter. And yeah, so that natural gas, I guess, I don't know what I'll do with that. I could just vent all the carbon dioxide out into space, which is nice. <laughs> I won't have that problem. So since there's not really a great place to put a place to store petroleum, I've just made this pipe like stupidly long. <laughs> so it can store a lot in the actual pipes. Uh, hopefully that's at least a temporary solution. And I can fix it up later if I have to. Um, so yeah, pretty much everything is good here. We've got oil that will go in here. Uh, they just need to finish doing this. They seem to want to do the pipes first, which is fine, I guess. <gasps> There is one! <gasps> what is it though? That'll take me ages to get there. What if I put like the, the amber alert? Top priority. Yellow alert. Hydrogen! Hydrogen vent! Oh, whoops. How do I get rid of that? Okay. <laughs> what am I going to do with a hydrogen vent? Maybe that'll, that'll be good for the hydrogen propulsion thing that I'll make eventually, but... Yeah, we'll just all connect it like that for now. It's only 2000 max, so... Eventually I will put a natural gas generator around here too, because we will be collecting it. So that makes sense. I might end up needing more dupes to help me do this. Can they all get through? Ah, oh, oxygen. Damn. <laughs> Would you look at that. I love seeing them build. It's very satisfying to watch, especially when they're, they're quick at it. Just watch everything come to life so quickly. Um, so I can probably release this now, I think. Yeah, I think I can. Actually, let's let's get that going now so then we can accumulate some oil while we build. Assuming that it's even on. Yeah, it's on. Great. So what's the temperature of that? Hot. <laughs> 99 degrees. Damn. So this stuff will actually get hot. 
unlike all the other things that I had around here. I don't have the frozen biome to cool it down this time. Also, today is day 365, which means at the end of the day I should get an achievement. I've never gotten this far, that's pretty cool. We don't have that much to go, just the, the wiring, uh, the refinery, and a little bit of piping, and then we're good. So this will be natural gas. Ooh. Know what that was? Probably want to clean that up a bit too. There you go. We got it midday for some reason. <laughs> One year to be exact. 365.25 with a single colony. Awesome. I'm proud of that. All right, we're pumping a little bit of oil in here. This is priority five. Oh, I didn't even notice it had that beaker there that fills up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so then that will go into here. Cool. I like it. Oh, he's gone to work on that. He's a scientist at heart. I mean, the the gas stuff is something that we don't urgently need to do, I guess. Okay, there you go. Uh, the grid is completed here. Now we just need one person to go on that. One person to go on this. How is it do It's just pumping that out. Good. Get that stuff out of here. Oh, he did it again. The bastard. Awesome, it's gone. <laughs> Someone coming to do this? Alright, Liam will do it. Good. Let's go. Yes. Ah, beautiful petroleum. That's fine. That'll power it for a bit. <laughs> ah, yes. And then I'll chuck in an automation wire, because why not? It's always handy to have that. Just gotta see it go round and round and round and round. I don't know how that tiny blob got there. Alrighty, I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to have to leave it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Leave a like if you did. Let me know in the comments some tips for improving this place and maybe improving the, the sleet wheat as well. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.